I feel so well, short. <laughs> We're a full minute early, Gary. Sorry. Huh? We're a full minute early. If you're ready. Okay. Well, <clears throat> we are live on Facebook now. Good morning, Facebook. This is Gary Rosignol, and says Rock and Roll Realtor. I have the dynamic duo with me this morning, Cat and Michael. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Whoa. Good morning, and welcome to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour, starring Gary Rosignol of Remax Preferred Group. To be part of the program, dial 513-563-1480 to get your answers to questions about your home and property. That number again, 513-563-1480. Now, here's Gary. Hey, good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You hear me? All right. <laughs> this is Gary Rock. Max Preferred Group. Happy fourth, third day of spring. It's here already. How about that? What we do on Saturday mornings is bring you current, helpful, and entertaining discussions. And this morning, although... They haven't been here for a minute. <laughs> My guests are no stranger to the show. This is the dynamic duo of one of the largest and fastest growing mortgage companies in town, Kat Miller and Michael Wilson with NRL Mortgage. Good morning. Hello. 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 Yeah. Thanks for having us. Nation's Definitely. Reliable Lender. That's your real name, right? Nation's NRL. Reliable Lending. Lending. Yes. Lending. Yes. Okay, yes. got it. You. You are right on top of it. Yeah. Today's trivia question for a $10 Starbucks card, and you can be eligible if you haven't won in the past three months. 513-563-1480 is the phone number. His official nickname is Rocket Man. What is his stage name or birth name? Oh, I know this. You know that one? I sure you so. do. <laughs> I didn't know it. <laughs> I know this. You're too young. (laughs) I mean, once you said it, I knew, but I didn't know it. His official name is Rocket Man. What is his stage name or his birth name? If you haven't won in the past three months, you are eligible to win a $10 gift card to Starbucks. Call 513-563-1480. This is a call-in show. You can call us and ask us a question. Interesting. Real estate market in general. Uh, music, entertainment, food, whatever you care to ask us, we will give you an answer. Will it be the right answer? We'll try. <laughs> Thank you, Facebook, for sticking with us, for checking us out. If you like what you see and hear here, like my page, and it will be up there for the rest of the next couple of weeks, so you can tune back in and watch it. We want to hit 2,000 views this week. Yes, we do. I just we were, shared it on all my pages. We were close last time. That was just before Christmas when you guys were in here. Yeah, yes. it was. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. At Christmas time, time's kind of slow up a little bit, I guess. Folks go, well, I don't know if I want to jump into this this real estate game or not. And they're kind of winding down for the year, getting ready for the new year. Now, here we are. We just turned spring. I talked to a lot of homeowners who are thinking about putting their house in the market. We've got a lot of folks who try to sell their house themselves. They are the make me move folks, which is a little Mm -hmm. catchphrase for my promo this week. And, you know, those folks are, I think they're serious. You know, if they had, they had another place to move to, if they had someone that would buy their home, they would move. Mm -hmm. So if you're, if you're tuning in and you are thinking about moving, stay with us. We're going to give you some real good, valuable information this morning. Um, Kat and Michael, you guys are award-winning at NRL Mortgage. You made a trip down to Florida, didn't you? Yes, we did. Yeah. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that award. <laughs> Brag about yourself yeah. a little bit, huh? It was great. It was, it was great. Was. It was my actual. Yes. It was my second year going mm-hmm. on the President's All Club right. trip. Last year we went to Cabo. This year Michael made it, and we were able to go to Miami. So it was a great time. It was really awesome. So making President's Club, what does that mean to our listening audience? It means you are consistently closing... Um, at least a million a month. So you have to close at least 12 million for the year to make it. All right. All right. How many folks in your office went? 
Mm, just us two. Just really? Us two. Mm-hmm. So you are the cream of the crop. Yes. All right. Yeah. That's, fantastic. <laughs> That's fantastic. So you are in, uh, what, 20 different states? Um, We are in, caught me off guard there, Gary. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, we are in licensed in 45 states. Wow. Okay. Twice what I was guessing. That's that's fantastic. So you, you're based out of Texas. Mm-hmm. They started about, what, 10, 12 years ago and have built a empire on helping people find the American dream. Right. And Correct. that's home ownership. Yeah. And you probably all settled into your brand new office on at uh, 1111 St. Gregory Street. Yep, in Mount Adams. And that's not a new thing anymore. No, no. <laughs> but your new thing is you're opening an, up a new satellite office up in Westchester. We are. We are. It's uh, pretty much uh, wrapped up and done. It looks great. Um, now we're just furnishing it, and uh, we're super excited about the opportunity. So, All yeah, right. Have you had a chance to look at it yet? I have been sneaking in and taking a peek. Yeah. It's, you know, the entryway is right across from my office. Right, so. right, right. It looks good. <laughs> we're, we're really excited about it. So yeah. it was just a shell there for a while, and all of a sudden I walked in and went, wow, they got doors and walls and lights up, and these guys are quick. One minute there was no drywall, the next it's done. I was like, goodness gracious. I know. So it looks good. I know. We're really happy. <clears throat> so um, your stories of how you got into the business is very interesting, and, mm-hmm. and you haven't been on here for a, for a minute. <laughs> as you put it. So, uh, Kat, tell us, what got you into the mortgage lending business? To be honest, I kind of just fell into it. Uh, I graduated from UC in 08 when it was the recession, so no one was hiring Nobody anywhere. Nobody was doing anything. Except for those 100% commission sales jobs, <laughs> of course. And um, I actually applied to be the receptionist because I did not want to be in sales. <laughs> and they convinced me to be in sales, and I just... Ended up being really good at it and actually ended up loving it. And look at you now. Yeah, I've been the top producer for eight out of ten years there, so it's been great. That is fantastic, yeah. So so if anybody's thinking about changing careers, highly yeah. recommend yeah. giving you the a Yeah, the mortgage call. business, yeah, definitely. You can talk them into it. Mm-hmm. Just watch you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not always uh, peaches and cream, but no, it's, no, <laughs> as it, you know, in real it's estate. It's up and down. This yeah, business, but, but it is great. The best part is, you know, working with buyers and getting them into homes and seeing how happy they are when they, you know, yeah. seeing their posts on social media of them having their baby and mm-hmm. people getting married. So it's really exciting. Yeah, yeah. I have a, a young gal. She's been working on her credit for about a year and mm-hmm. finally got it there but uh she just had her baby a week and a half ago so didn't have time to find the house but she's she keeps calling letting us mm-hmm. know i'm home with the baby now and he's eight pounds and Aww. and, and, on and that's yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah that's congratulations sick. so that's the kind of relationships we try right. and build mm-hmm. you know folks who want to call you and just right. get you up to date with, yeah. right. with what's going on that's kind of cool yeah we always strive to build the relationships it's not about transactions to that's us it. yeah it's about yeah. building relationships yeah. yeah the relationships cat and i built and even you you know it's just it's amazing it truly is and that's the reason why we got into this is yeah. build those relationships when we're meeting with uh, potential clients and the first thing they ask is you know what do you charge mm-hmm. well that's the wrong first question you right. know it's it's what kind of service am i going to get right. you know what what are you going to do for me and and that's the end goal right that's right. the end goal so your story is pretty amazing too i would say so it's kind of similar to cats um i went to miami graduated from miami i was pre-law um got out of college uh went up to chicago and uh thought i was going to work up in chicago and um financial services and a buddy of mine uh triff uh, told me hey uh, you should check this out so uh i gave him a call and i interviewed and uh and i started as a i thought you know it's pretty cool one of my favorite movies was wall street so i said you know what mm. kind of cool to be a broker right because mm-hmm. at that time we were a broker so i said you know I'll, I'll give it a shot and see what happens and I, i've been doing it ever since and uh, uh catherine over here we've actually been together for how long now eight years I actually trained me. He did train. Yeah, she did train me. She did train me. I taught so. him. I taught him all he knows. All my Everything. tricks. All my tricks came from Cat. So she's a lot better looking. Yeah. Uh. Oh, thank uh. you. You're so sweet. So, all right, that's great. Um, so you decided not to become an attorney. Correct. And get into mortgage lending. Correct. 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 And yeah. you haven't looked back since. I haven't. I haven't. It's been uh, very rewarding. And uh, you would have made a good attorney. 
I think so. I think he so. He loves to talk. I do love to talk. <laughs> Kat told me earlier today, she said, no, don't keep talking. Just get to the point <laughs> and just be done with it. So we had a, we had a, as I keep going, right? No, we had a, uh, we had a um, uh, first, or a, um, a seminar with, with Remax, um, mm-hmm. like a lunch and learn. And uh, you were there for that I was there. Yeah, yeah, it was great. It was great. We're, we've been doing a lot of those lately and uh, we've gotten a lot of good positive feedback and, and turnout. And uh, so, so she goes, Michael. Like that lunch and learn, you just have to get to the point and move on. So <laughs> don't keep talking. Don't keep talking. So, but, uh, but yeah, it was great. But you, you both are very personable. You're very outgoing. You're very uh, thoughtful, too, in, in what you say. And, and that's, right. that's, the, uh, that's the recipe for success in this business. Yeah. Right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So um, everybody asks me, what's the market like? <clears throat> Do you have your finger on what's going on right now? So rates have actually started to, well, we, we had an alert yesterday saying that rates were actually going down. And then we got another alert saying, lock your rates immediately. They're going to adjust. Right. So um, it's been, you know, up and down, but um, it, it, they are saying that rates are supposed to take a little dip here, which is really good because in the beginning of the year, they were talking about rates increasing Mm -hmm. um even you know some people were predicting rates to increase to at least even six percent by the end of the year so it's it's good that they're not (laughs) they're not there they are lower right now which is good Mm -hmm. i've got news (laughs) this just came over the email yesterday actually well uh, it was published on march 21st and it says the the uh, feds say it's done raising rates for the year so when the feds uh keep their benchmark Low. At a standstill, that directly affects mortgage finance, uh, mortgage interest rates as right. well. Correct. Right. right. So we can look forward to a 2019 until 2020 mm-hmm. at really nice rates, according to this article. And yes, this fingers published. crossed. <laughs> yeah, it was published by the National Association of Realtors. Yeah. Yeah, so that was exciting. I read that. Wow. Yep, that makes us happy. Yeah, that is great. <laughs> Definitely. And also, uh, right behind that, they published another article which says mortgage applications soar to record high for the third week in a row. Mm-hmm. Have you been noticing that? Yeah, I have a lot of pre-approvals, uh, but there's no inventory. So oh, we're looking to sell. <laughs> yeah. We need some houses. Yeah. So if you want to sell your house, now is definitely a great time. That's on me. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're talking. Er, Half the people I talk to are saying, well, we're going to wait till spring. Well, spring is not a really good idea if you want to get top dollar in a quick right. sale for your yeah, home. Yeah, because you're going to have, you know, um, especially for these buyers that are just waiting for houses to hit the market. You know, if a seller comes out now, you're going to have multiple offers mm-hmm. immediately, you know, as opposed to maybe waiting two more weeks. Then you have much more competition for the sellers. Right, so. right. Buyers can pick and choose, mm-hmm. and they're going to not give you the kind of money that you want. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, they're going to say, well, that other one has uh, the more updated kitchen or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So, uh, so it's very important. Uh, this is Kat and Michael with NRL Mortgage, and they are uh, the real Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour is being brought to you today by NRL Mortgage at 513-592-3830. That's the number you want to call them. If you're thinking about buying, if you're thinking about selling and need to buy, you want to get your financing together first. That's yes. primary. Yes. Yes. That's yes. so yes. important. Yes. Before you look at any houses, before mm-hmm. you talk to anyone, and be careful about who you talk to. You don't want to get too much advice from your friends and family members who, right. you know, we're, mom and dad who bought, their, Google. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who bought their house 35 years ago, you know, and they're giving you all kinds of advice. Well, you know, 35 years ago it was a different market. Oh, I mean, right? even 10 years ago it was different. Oh, yeah. And also be careful of going on the Internet and doing those online applications. You want to talk to somebody. You want to. Be face to face and go to that beautiful office at eleven eleven St. Gregory Street, or if you're out in Westchester, stop by at their Westchester, and you you have an office in Mason too. Mm-hmm. So you're all over town. Where else you have you? Have, we have one in Indiana mm-hmm. and in Mon- in Montgomery. Montgomery, right? Mm-hmm. right. Just uh, open an office in Michigan. Wow. Yeah. It's a little okay. far for you guys. Yeah, but. a little far, but we still yes. So. But fourteen eighty, you can you can get us online at uh, oldies fourteen eighty dot com and and you can hear the show. So this is a call in show five one three five six three fourteen eighty. Do we have a winner yet, Dan? No. All right. 
Uh, the trivia question for this is a call-in show, 513-563-1480. Do we have a winner yet, Dan? No. All right. Uh, the trivia question for today, I'd love to give away a $10 Starbucks card. And the, th- the question is, his official name is Rocket Man. What is his stage name or his birth name? And that's, that's an easy one. He was actually in town two weeks ago for a sellout concert. Heard it was phenomenal. It was. Did you go? Did you, no, 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 no. I wanted to, but I didn't get a chance to. Did uh, you go? No, I didn't no. get to go. No. I saw. I saw Facebook Live feeds. Giving and some everything. clues away. Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want to give away that ten dollar gift card to Starbucks. Yes. So give us a call. I would like to express my gratitude to all the troops, veterans, and first responders. These are the men and women who selflessly strive to keep our nation and city streets safe and free. If you're out and about and you see somebody in uniform, give them the thank you sign from afar. Definitely. Go up and shake their hand. Pick up their tab. Let them know that we, we recognize them and we love them for everything that they do for us so we have the freedoms that we enjoy here in the United States of America. After our break, a moment with Miles, and we will investigate all the new regular loan programs NRL Mortgage has to offer. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on WDJO 1480 AM, now on FM 995 and 1079. You're looking to buy a home. Kat and Michael at NRL Mortgage can help you find a competitively priced loan program to fit your family's financial needs. Their team can help you with any home loan program or scenario. VA, FHA, conventional or rural. You name it, and they can help you get into your dream home. With NRL's quick turnaround and 10 years of experience, Kat and Michael can guide you through your loan application from start to finish. Call 513-592-3830 to find out more. That's 513-592-3830. Let Kat Miller or Michael Wilson find the right loan to suit your needs. Call them anytime at 513-592-3830. Hey, Facebook, thanks for staying with us. We appreciate that. Tell your friends and family to tune in on my Facebook page and watch us. Or you can go to 99.5 FM if you're in Cincinnati or if you're in Kentucky, 107.9 FM. And I uh, just want to show you around the studio real quick. This is Dan, my producer. Say hi, Dan. <laughs> we have a caller calling in, so hopefully we'll get a $10 gift card to Starbucks. By the way, you can win that Starbucks gift card. Cost of 513-563-1480. And answer the question. His nickname is Rocket Man. What is his stage name or his birthright name? So I'm going to plug you back in the studio feed, and we're going to get on with the show. As they showcase their new rehabilitation center, featuring some of the most advanced equipment in the medical rehabilitation industry. A HydroWorks pool with movable floor for low impact activity. A Mototech C-Mill treadmill for hip and knee replacement recovery. A MotoMed movie for muscle stimulation and activation. And a speech therapy suite. If you have surgery scheduled or have a loved one in need of rehabilitation, don't miss the grand opening of the Advanced Therapy Center at Chesterwood Village, April 11th. Contact Jane at 513-326-0040. That's 513-326-0040. Or visit Hillendale.com. We bleed orange and blue. Tony sending it far post. Watson on the header. And there it is. The first goal at Nippert State. FC Cincinnati is on WDJO. Join us Sunday, live from Gillette Stadium, as FC Cincinnati takes on the New England Revolution. Game time, 4 p.m. on the official radio station of FC Cincinnati, WDJO. Get off. Let's rock the house. Hey, we are rocking and rolling this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for staying with us. I know you won't regret it. I'm your host, Gary Rosignol, with Remax Preferred Group. And Dorothy Holloway won the $10 gift card to Starbucks. What a sweetheart she is. I know Dorothy. She's a sweetheart. But before we get on with the show. So I'm sailing for tomorrow. My dreams are dying. This is... 
the moment with Miles, the captain of our ship, Mr. Miles Beardfurs. Good morning, Miles. Hey, Gary, rock and roll, my friend. Gary, the recent spike in multiple offers has been great for sellers, but disappointed buyers who lose out on their dream house are increasingly questioning whether the listing agent ever presented their offer to the seller. Mm -hmm. This suspicion is generally not true, but like most states, there is no law in Ohio that mandates that either a seller or a listing agent provide written confirmation that an offer was in fact presented to the seller. However, a recent amendment to the standard of practice of the National Association of Realtors Code of Ethics addresses this issue. The pertinent language of the standard of practice reads as follows. Upon the written request of a cooperating broker who submits an offer to the listing broker, the listing broker shall provide a written affirmation to the cooperating broker stating that the offer has been submitted to the seller or a written notification that the seller has waived the obligation to have the offer presented. This is a great verification that the National Association of Realtors is working in the best interest of the public. Remember to always enlist the aid of a realtor when buying or selling real estate. If you have any questions about this rule, don't hesitate to consult your realtor. And that's this morning's Moment with Miles. That's a good one, Miles. That is fantastic. Thank you very much for pointing that out to us. And um, I'm on the Professional Standards Committee. We had a meeting last week, and that particular addendum was uh, pointed out to us. And that, that change in the in the um, Code of Ethics was, uh, was explained. So... Yeah, I mean, there, like you said, Kat, there's, uh, homes are selling off the shelves because there's not enough inventory. And the, the buyers who lose out are saying, I don't even think my offer was even presented. Mm-hmm. May or may not have been. Right. You just never know. But now we have uh, an amendment to the uh, Constitution that says that we need to get written notification so we can show the buyer, yes, your offer was presented. That's good. That's that's a really good point. Thank you, Miles. That is Miles Beersford. With him and with his uh, lovely wife, Christine, they are the captains of our ship at REMAX Preferred Group, the best real estate brokerage in the state of Ohio in the United States of America. We are the number one REMAX in the state of Ohio. Wow, that's awesome. And we will continue doing that, too. We keep growing because we, like you, like you mentioned, Michael, uh, it's a relationship business. Right. It isn't uh, a dollars and cents business. You perform those relationships. You do a good job. You get people wanting to call you back, and they tell your friends, and that's how business grows. And that gives us more opportunity to help more people. And, uh, yeah, there's no greater joy than to hand the keys to that first-time buyer mm-hmm. and see the smile on her face, no matter how the transaction went. <laughs> you know? And that's where we realtors and, and lenders come, come into play because it comes right down to the wire sometimes. You have to get this and that from the inspector and the appraiser, put a little mention in the appraisal, and the underwriters say, uh-uh, I need more verification on this. You run into that? Mm-hmm. We do. Yeah. We do. Yeah, right. So, NRL Mortgage, 513-592-3830. That's how you reach them. This is a call-in show. If you have a question, if you are a realtor and you've worked with Michael and Kat and you have a success story, you want to just call them and say, hey, you guys are fantastic, which we all know you are, but it's nothing better than to hear it from the general public. Call us at 513-563-1480. Uh, the the mortgage industry changes all the time, and I don't know how you keep up with it. Back in the day, there was usually two or three different kinds of loans. Mm-hmm. You had your 30-year fixed, you had your 15-year fixed, and you may have had some kind of a adjustable rate mortgage. And now today you have, how do you keep up with it? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go first? They always say just be a student of the business. And if you continue to be a student of the business, then, you know, it comes natural. It's oh, true. Okay. You really have to be in our line of work, especially with new guidelines and changes coming out all the time. So, um, and it, you know, obviously we have your 
typical programs, FHA, VA, conventional, USDA, jumbo. But we do have some new programs that uh, recently have been rolled out, some non-QM products, which are non-qualified mortgage products. So they're not your standard Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA type loan. Mm-hmm. They are um, going to be for borrowers who don't fit into that box. Mm-hmm. So maybe if you're self-employed and um, you know on your taxes, maybe you write off too much. <laughs> um, we have some bank statement programs the where we can- Insurance guys are notorious for that. They know how to write everything <laughs> yeah. off. <laughs> so, if, you know, anyone out there selling insurance, you want to get a mortgage, you know, call call us today. But, yeah, we have some bank statement programs where, you know, we can average the income based off of their deposits and their bank statements. Or um, we have some new investor programs, which are really exciting, uh, where if as long as they've shown, you know, three years owning a house and three years history of being a landlord, they can buy an investment property um, with no ratios, meaning we don't have to show income as long as the oh. rental property covers the mortgage by a certain percentage, um, you know, then that's a great option for investors. Okay. So um, there are several different non-QM products that, you know, if you don't think you fit into the normal, typical uh, box, give us a call and we can see what we can do for you. So that that's an interesting topic. There's not many lenders that uh, are are investor friendly. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they just go, you know, how about somebody who's buying that house that needs to have some work done? Do you have a product for that where... They can um, they can purchase it for a certain amount and and borrow enough to do the work. Yeah, like you, you know we have your typical FHA two hundred three k loan. There you go. Yeah, um, they're Ex- a little tricky. Explain how the two hundred three k works. Well, you're able to purchase a property and pretty much fix it up. Let's say so, you buy it for fifty thousand and needs twenty five thousand dollars worth of work, and then you have a hundred thousand yeah, dollar house. Yeah. Yep. That's you just explained it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> okay. So um, what is the process of getting a mortgage? Let's take a first-time buyer, for example. Mm-hmm. What, what's, uh, what's the uh, first thing you need to do with them or they need to do with you? I mean, the first step would be just to uh, sit down and go through the actual application. Um, the beauty of what Kat and I do and, and everyone at NRL is we, we like to customize and custom fit. The, the loan based off their needs because we understand everyone's financial situation is different, right? Mm. Not everyone is the same. Not everybody's down payment is the same. Not everybody's credit score is the same. Um, not everyone's needs are the same as far as, you know, uh, uh, you know if they're looking to, to sell in five years or 10 years or whatever the cause may be. So we like to just customize it based off, you know, their overall goals, their financial footprint, if I may. So the first step uh, would be to just sit down and, uh, and, and, and go through the actual application itself and just see exactly what they qualify for. Because for us, the biggest step that we want to make sure that we take is to ensure that at the end of the day, when they do get pre-approved, that they're comfortable with their down payment. They're Mm -hmm. comfortable with their payment. They understand exactly, you know, from A to Z where they're at. There's no gray area because the last thing that we want to have happen is they get emotionally tied, especially first time home buyers. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then they come back and say, you know, the payment's too high or, you know, the down payment's too much. So for us, it's, it's all about just laying out this map, if I may, this financial map and saying, you know, this is where we are today. And this is, you know, what the application, this is what the process is going to look like and just draw it out for them. So it makes it nice and easy and understandable. How would you have, a, let's say a buyer is really concerned with, am I getting a good deal here? Mm-hmm. You know, do, do they ever ask you that? Well, um, of course. Can, can you show me in black and white that this is a good deal of course. based on other products that are out there? I mean, we always advise, you got to think this is... Uh, buyers, one of their biggest financial decisions that they're ever going to make, mm-hmm. right? Um, so the equity that people build is typically their retirement, right? So um, for us, uh, we always say shop. You know, it, it's very important. You encourage that? Of course. Okay. Of course, of course. Because at the end of the day, we want to make sure this is what we can offer at Nation's Reliable Lending. And and then we can, again, we can customize it based off their needs. And then if they go speak to another lending institute, we can compare and contrast. And at the end of the day, like I just said 15 minutes ago, it's not about the transaction, right? It's about building that relationship. Mm-hmm. So for us, we want to make sure that that individual, that buyer, that family is getting the best overall program for their specific situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if somebody picked up the phone right now and called 513-592-3830. 
Would they get somebody to answer the phone? It would actually ring to my cell phone. <laughs> and you're on call. Yeah, it, transfer, on, it transfers to my cell phone. You're yeah. on duty today. All right, so there you go. If you want to talk to Kat, call 513-592-3830. She's going to be tied up for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> but she will get back with you by 10 or by 5 after 10. Correct. You will get a call, phone call from her. So... Um, Something buyers are surprised at the cost, in, or by 5 after 10, Correct. <laughs> you will get a call, phone call from her. So, um, something buyers are surprised at the cost involved in getting a mortgage. Uh, you need to factor in principal with the interest. Mm-hmm. You have to estimate their taxes. You have to educate them on insurance. Uh, sometimes they don't know the difference between an appraisal and a home inspection. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, is, are, are they rather surprised at the cost when you, you lay that all out for them before they meet with me? No, usually I, t- I tell people, um, you know, even if they use down payment assistance, uh, I'd say typically you want to have 1500 you know, 1000 to 1500 You have to have your earnest money, your appraisal. And your inspection, mm-hmm. and that's before the loan even, you know, the okay. appraisal, well, the inspection and your earnest money are going to be before the appraisal. Right. Um, but I tell people that you want to have that money available beforehand just to get the process started. Right. Don't touch that dial. Stay with us after these messages for today's music history. Kat and Michael will explain the down payment assistance program. Mm-hmm. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on WDJO 1480 AM, now on FM 995 and 1079. What if, instead of shelling out hefty fees for a few days of legal help, you paid a monthly membership and got a law firm for life? Legal Shield provides affordable, comprehensive, full service legal and identity theft coverage. Legal Shield offers personal and business plans that cover virtually all legal contingencies. Contact Gary Rosignol, your independent Legal Shield associate at 513-543-2513 or visit lsgaryrosignol.com. With Legal Shield, you can live life knowing you have a lawyer in your back pocket at the same time isn't emptying it. Your wish has been granted. Cincinnati Ballet's popular family series returns with Aladdin, March 30th through April 7th at the Aronoff Center. The adventurous tale of a poor boy, a beautiful princess, and an evil magician will delight the whole family. This colorful production is meant for children and includes narration that makes the story easy to follow. Kids can also enjoy Aladdin activities and games in the lobby. And the best part? Tickets start at only $20. Get yours today. Today at cballet.org. Are you tired of waiting half an hour or longer to get your prescriptions filled? Hi, I'm Dan Beebe, owner of Save Discount Drugs in Covington. At Save Discount Drugs, our focus is filling your prescriptions quickly and accurately, usually in 15 minutes or less. We even offer free delivery in the northern Kentucky area. If you're uninsured or have high deductible insurance, Save Discount Drugs offers everyday low pricing on all of our medications, not just the few that are on a list. We even offer select antibiotics for just $1. So call us at 859-431-2857 to see how you can save time and money at Save Discount Drugs. We have free parking behind the store with a convenient back entrance. Save Discount Drugs is located four doors north of the Madison Theater at 716 Madison Avenue in downtown Covington. That's Save Discount Drugs, 859-431-2857. Or check us out online at savediscountdrugs.com. Hey Cincinnati, Rick and Noel here from Ultima Air Shuttle. We're excited to announce 2019 marks our 10-year anniversary serving the Cincinnati community. Start the new year by saving time and money when you fly Ultima Air Shuttle. Take advantage of 25% off round-trip tickets to New York City, Chicago, Atlanta, Charlotte, and Cleveland. For you weekend travelers out there, now through April 1st, flights start at just $149 each way. Supply is limited, so book now. Thank you, Cincinnati, for flying Ultimate Air Shuttle for 10 years. Because of you, we are here today and will be tomorrow. Ultimate Air Shuttle flights are public charters sold and operated by Ultimate Jet Charters, LLC, as director of carrier. 
one word that I would have to describe Dr. Peck would be perfections. I didn't like pictures taken because I could see my smile was not very attractive. Basically, I'd gotten to the point where I was going to have dentures. And so that's when we started the long journey, despite the time, the effort, the money. I would do this over again. People at work say, your teeth really look nice. And I said, I know, don't they? For your own beautiful new smile, call Dr. Fred Peck at 513-621-7666 or visit PeckSmiles.com. I'm Connie Birdwell, and I love my new smile. Plenty of sunshine to start off the weekend today. Temperatures just a little bit below normal as we get to a high of 53 degrees. Partly cloudy for tonight as the low drops down to 36. We'll see cloudy skies with a shower or two in the afternoon tomorrow, getting to a high of 55. Breezy and cooler for Monday. It'll be cloudy with a passing shower and a high of just 48 for Monday afternoon. I'm AccuWeather meteorologist Courtney Spamer on Cincinnati's Oldies Network, WDJO. And it's time for my music history. So here's what happened on March 25th, which is my birthday. <laughs> Back in 1967, the Turtles started a three-week run at number one on the U.S. singles chart with Happy Together. The song was written by Gary Bonner and Alan Gordon, former members of a band known as The Magicians. The song had been rejected a dozen times before it was offered to the Turtles, and the demo acetate was worn out. And on 1969, on March 25th, John Lennon and Yoko Ono started their week-long bed-in in the presidential suite at the Amsterdam Hilton Hotel. The couple invited the world's press into the hotel room every day to talk about promoting world peace. Speaking of world peace, on March 25th in 1972, the film of the concert for Bangladesh featuring George Harrison, Bob Dylan, and Eric Clapton premiered in New York. The event was the first benefit concert of this magnitude in the world history. The concert raised $243,418 some, cha- some change for Bangladesh relief, which was administered by UNICEF. Sale of the album and DVD continue to benefit the George Harrison Fund for UNICEF. The only one for me is you, and you for me, so happy together. Today, uh, on March 25th in 1983, Motown Records celebrated its 25th anniversary with a concert in Pasadena featuring The Supremes, Stevie Wonder, The Temptation, The Four Tops, Martha Reeves, Junior Walker, The Commodores, Marvin Gaye, Smokey Robinson, and these by The Jackson Five. And on March 25th of 1986, Guns N' Roses signed a worldwide deal with Geffen Records. The band has now sold more than 100 million albums worldwide. Their 1987 debut album, Appetite for Destruction, has sold in excess of 28 million copies worldwide. And on March 25th in 1999, 73-year-old country music singer Ray Price was arrested in his Texas home for possession of marijuana. He was fined $200 after pleading no contest to the charges. According to Price, in a, in a 2008 interview, old friend Willie Nelson, no stranger to marijuana arrests, phoned and told him he just earned $5 million in free publicity with the drug bust. Born on this day, March 25th, 1947, Sir Elton John, singer, songwriter, pianist, his born name was Reginald Dwight. He had the 1971 number seven single, Your Song, the 1973 number one single, Crocodile Rock, seven other U.S. number ones. His biggest selling single of all time was Cradle in the Wind plus over 50 top 40 hit singles. Sold over 150 million records worldwide. <clears throat> Elton and Bernie Toppin wrote, Don't Go Breaking My Heart, under the pseudonyms Ann Orson and Carte Blanc. Some of the allies that Sir Elton has used checking into hotels include Prince Fubu, Sir Humphrey Handbag, Lillian Lollipop, 
Lord Chalk Eyes, Lord Elphus, Binky Poodle Clip, and Sir Henry Poodle. <laughs> However, his official nickname is Rocket Man. And that was today's trivia question. I hope you enjoy these fun facts about music history as I enjoyed researching and reporting it to you today. My name is Gary Rosignol. I'm the rock and roll realtor with Remax Preferred Group because I play with the greatest classic rock band, Bluestone Ivory. You can hear us live next Saturday at the VFW Hall in Sharonville. Uh, show starts at 730. Uh, it is a $10 cover charge, but you get a lot for your money. We will be at the Miami Valley Gaming, San Antonitis Festivals, Church of the Assumption Festival, Coney Island Moonlight Gardens, Keener Park, Immaculate Heart of Mary, St. John's, and the list goes on from there. So look us up, bluestoneivory.com. I also play with the Westchester Symphony, and we have our annual gala coming up on April 13th. And that's going to be a fun event. It's going to be at the Marriott in Westchester. So more information to follow in the near future. Uh, I have with me Kat and Michael. They are the dynamic duo with Nation's Reliable Lending. And you can reach them at 513-592-3830. Let's see. uh, Before we signed out the last segment, we were talking about down payment assistance. Now, this... So many buyers think that they need to have 20% down payment to buy a home. Mm -hmm. And that's... No longer necessary, is it? No, no, it's not. You could actually even do some conventional programs at 3% down for qualified buyers. With or without private mortgage insurance? You have options. You can have monthly private mortgage insurance. You can buy out of it. You can finance it. There's several options. So Good point. Call your favorite loan originator, and we can let you know uh, what What about those folks who work hard? They have a great job. They've been on the job for five or seven years. Mm-hmm. Uh, they've been paying 1500 in rent. You know, they, they have a nice car, their family's growing, they need to get out of that apartment or that small house, and they can afford, if they can pay 1500 in oh, yeah. rent. Mm-hmm. If you're paying $1,500 in rent, you need to call me today. <laughs> <laughs> That's 513-592-3830. I'm sure your phone's going to ring today. Um, but the, they just don't have, and you mentioned last segment, mm-hmm. that you need about $1,500 for, uh, and you also have to add in there your home inspections. That uh, yeah, I include that in there. Okay, mm-hmm. all right. So, so to get your first year insurance and to pay for the appraisal and your inspections and everything, you need to have about fifteen hundred dollars. So the uh, the thousand to fifteen hundred that I was talking about would be like your earnest money, which is your deposit on mm-hmm. your down payment, which goes towards your down payment um, at closing. However, if you do down payment assistance, sometimes you get that money back. Um, and then you have your inspection, which is typically around 500 mm-hmm. from what I've heard. The, I, when I tell people 1000 to 1500 it's just a rough estimate. Every purchase price is going to be right. different. Um, and then your appraisal, which sometimes we can also include if your seller pays your closing costs. You won't need that because your seller can pay for it. Right. Um, but we have down payment assistance options for people. So if you, That's interesting. If you so. don't have you know, the funds for the down payment, but you have the good job, you have you know, great rental history, you have credit, uh, established credit you can qualify for down payment assistance. So um, some of those options can give you 2.5% towards the down payment or even give you 5% towards down payment and costs. Mm -hmm. So I have some people, you know, you're not bringing anything to the table. I have one closing on Wednesday. They're getting $400 back at closing, which is part of their earnest money. And the keys. Yeah. So, (laughs) you know, that's that's not a bad deal right there if you're walking away with a house and you really didn't have to put much into it. That is fantastic. 513-592-3830. Call Cat or Michael today if you're uh, if we just describe the situation you're in and you're saying, you know, we need to get out of this little dinky apartment that we're paying a fortune for and they're getting nothing in return for it. Right. When you pay rent, you you don't get any tax write-offs or you don't increase your your equity in the property. No. Uh none of that. It's all gone. So, um Something we wanted to touch on before we uh, sign off on the show today. Uh, Michael, you mentioned a softball event, which is coming up soon. Yes, yes, yes. So we're... Uh, it's, I mean, it's spring. I mean, it, I know, right? I know. It, <laughs> finally, finally. It was raining there for about, what, three o- weeks, four weeks? Opening <laughs> in a week and a half, I think. Yes, so yes. So I'm excited yes. about that. Yes, yes. We're, uh, we're super excited um, to uh, partner up uh, with the Dragonfly Foundation 
and uh, we went to the gala. The w- gala, yeah, two weeks that ago. That was two weeks ago? Yeah. yeah. And it was a beautiful, beautiful turnout. Um, to see the stories and the families and, and being able to you know be a part of it um, is, uh, is is something that we hold dear to us. And uh, you know having the softball uh, game, uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to play or not. So <laughs> oh, I want to see that. Yeah, yeah, you're you're going to pitch, aren't you? <laughs> uh, possibly. I'll be in the outfield. I played uh, softball my whole life. <laughs> you're playing. She was, a, she was at what? We'll you see. were a catcher? Pitcher? Yeah, I was a catcher. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. So, but it's going towards a, a wonderful foundation, and uh, and I think we are uh, actually uh, sitting down with Rita next week, right? Yes, for, for we are. Mm-hmm. So that will be nice. But uh, yeah, so we're going to have a softball event to uh, to sponsor um, the Dragonfly Foundation, and uh, it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful for, for event, and we're super excited. So, do you know who your opponent's going to be? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I, we don't know too many details. Yeah, we don't know too yeah. many details. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we, well, you might want to maybe challenge uh, Remax or somebody. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah we don't know too yeah. many details. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So we, well, you might want to maybe challenge uh, Remax or somebody. That's a good idea. Yeah, I like that. I like yeah. that. I like that. Uh, the Remax who put a team together, and and is it you got is NRL Mortgage going to make up your team? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see some of the guys I work with play. Yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Did you play sports back in the day? I played some softball. Did you? Yeah. Oh, nice. Softball's fun. Uh, but yeah, my you know something we can kick around when we meet with Rhea. Yes, yes, but, that'd, uh, be good. that'd be also, good. Also, I want to mention that we're planning our third annual Rock and Roll Chalk Art Balloon Ride Festival for in August. Right. Yeah. So that'd be I think August twenty something. The the third Saturday in August. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I'll do another balloon ride. We did it for the Christmas party, and I uh, it was a little too high for me. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty cool. It was. It was, awesome it was really neat. That, it was yeah. really, really neat. Yeah, so. but but this is going to every every dime goes to the Dragonfly Foundation right. for this. Right. It's right. a great foundation yeah. too. It it great is. cause, it really is. Amazing. So we'll talk about that. Maybe try and get you guys involved in that too. That'll be later on in the year. Mm-hmm. But that'll be a fun event. It was last year. So. Um, when is the softball game? Do you have a date yet? We actually are finalizing that now okay. um, as far as the, the specific date. So we were trying to see what the weather was going to do, too. So like I said, it's been raining for the last two and a half yeah. months. So now, But uh, we're finalizing that now. And then once we get the uh, final details, I'll, I'll let everybody know. All right. That's Michael and Kat with Nation's Reliable Lending. Their phone number is 513-592-3830. Thank you, Facebook, for staying with us today. You can reference back to the uh, Facebook page. It'll be on Cat and Michael's Facebook page, and it'll be all over the world by this afternoon. So you can reference back and see all the fun we had here in the studio. Uh, stay tuned. Don't touch that dial. Next, we're going to have a little visit from, Rhea can't be here today, but her right-hand person, Mike Smoltz of the Dragonfly Foundation. He is fantastic. And uh, he'll be uh, calling in shortly. We'll have a little interview with them and see what's going on on the other side of the Dragonfly Foundation. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour on WDJO 1480 AM, now FM 995 and 107.9. If you're looking to buy a home, Kat and Michael at NRL Mortgage can help you find a competitively priced loan program to fit your family's financial needs. Their team can help you with any home loan program or scenario. VA, FHA, conventional or rural. You name it and they can help you get into your dream home. With NRL's quick turnaround and 10 years of experience, Kat and Michael can guide you through your loan application from start to finish. Call 513-592-3830 to find out more. That's 513-592-3830. Let Cat Miller or Michael Wilson find the right loan to suit your needs. Call them anytime at 513-592-3830. NRL Mortgage is an equal housing lender. NMLS number 181407. Cat Miller NMLS number 137532. Michael Wilson NMLS number 834690. Brian Setzer, Slim Jim Phantom, Lee Rucker, the Strict Hats are back. Rocky 40th Anniversary Tour, August 14th, Rose Music Center at the Heights. Stray Cat's new album, 40. Rock it off, brother, rock it off. Available May 24th. Brother, Reserve seat tickets are on sale now. Gonna rock with you. At Ticketmaster.com and RoseMusicCenter.com. The Stray Cats, live. 
You know, it's easy to turn your unwanted, broken, or unused gold and silver jewelry and coins into needed cash. Gold and silver, class rings, old wedding bands, coin collections, proof sets, and old currency can be turned into needed cash fast. Franklin Street Coin Company in Sharonville pays more because they buy more. You get the highest prices available fast at Franklin Street Coin Company, a proud sponsor of Buckeyes Football on WDJO. Go Bucks! Allergy sufferers, my name's Nigel. As a wise and educated owl, I know the difference between what's wise and unwise. Suffering needlessly with allergy symptoms, unwise. Getting a free 10-day sample of Zizol, quite wise. Zizol is the allergy medicine that's just as effective at hour 24 as at hour 1, which makes getting a free 10-day sample one of the wisest things you can do. So don't be unwise. Be wise all and visit Zizol.com for your free sample today. Use as directed. What if instead of shelling out hefty fees for a few days of legal help, you paid a monthly membership and got a law firm for life? Legal Shield provides affordable, comprehensive, full service legal and identity theft coverage. Legal Shield offers personal and business plans that cover virtually all legal contingencies. Contact Gary Rosignol, your independent Legal Shield associate, at 513-543-2513 or visit LS Gary. RosignoL.com. With Legal Shield, you can live life knowing you have a lawyer in your back pocket. At the same time, isn't emptying it. Oh, get on. That's Roger Hash. Thanks for staying with us, folks. You're listening to the Rock and Roll Real Estate Hour, which is brought to you today by Nations Reliable Lending. 513-592-3830. And this is the moment I look forward to every week. I uh, get to talk with uh, one of the co-founders of the Dragonfly Foundation, who is uh, away on important stuff this morning. But she has her uh, community engagement coordinator, Mr. Mike Schmaltz, who is calling in, and we're going to talk about the Dragonfly Foundation. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Gary. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. You are so up and so energetic. You just you you you. You get me all psyched up every time we talk. <laughs> well, you have to be. It's the same way with you. So we're talking about Dragonfly. We're talking about pediatric cancer patients and helping them live better lives. That's good stuff to be energized about, right? And the Dragonfly Foundation supports pediatric cancer families and patients by building a network that connects Dragonfly families to each other and the community. They provide programs that enhance the quality of life and put very simply, you put smiles on the frowns of those who are afflicted with probably the most devastating time of their life, you make it real, you make it easy, and you help them survive. Not through any kind of medical research or, or anything like that, but you just change their paradigm of their the quality of life by, by uh, working with them and pulling off things like the fantastic fundraiser that we had just two and a half weeks ago. That was fantastic. That's right. It was a grand gala. And, you know, you talk about all the help that the foundation can provide, but it, there's a lot of people behind that that are making the donations and people such as yourself that help us out to get the message out and sponsor some of the events like Rocket Chalk and all that good stuff. So it's it's just a community, really, that's helping this foundation grow. Mm-hmm. So um, do, do you want to share the numbers after the gala? What How, how well did you do on that uh, particular fundraiser? I think it went very well, I think it was more than three hundred thousand dollars, so that was fantastic. Um, and you know, a great event. You were there, I know. You saw and you caught the story of the military family that was oh, able yeah. to be helped through the foundation. And you know, it was a DIPG, very young DIPG patient that is still with us, and that's just an incredible story. And it's so heart touching to and, see uh, what the foundation could do in relation to some families. And that young boy, you know, they were based in Florida, and his father was uh, in the military. I think he was uh, was he in the Navy. I forget. Yes. Yeah, Navy. So they, uh, when they said that th- their son has to come to Cincinnati to Cincinnati Children's Hospital because of his uh, cancer, they the the Navy actually moved him up here so uh, they could keep their family intact. And they only gave the son what nine months, and that's been over a year now, and he's he's going yeah. strong. That's that's a success story. Yeah. It's an amazing, and that is a very rare type of cancer, and, and that's the same that Lauren Hill, if you're familiar with that story, she had the same type of cancer, and she was able to battle further than she was expected. 
too as well. So great story there. We hope the, the best for those families. It's got to be difficult, Mike, because um, uh, Christine and, and Rhea are faced, and, and all the volunteers are faced with tragedy every day. So how do you it take is. something tragic like that and turn it around to be a happy event? Well, I don't know if you can make it a happy event, but just, I think the thing that you take with you is you know that you made the person's life or the patient's life or the family's life just better while they were going through the process, and hopefully that eased that you know downside of everything. Mm-hmm. So, what can our listening audience do to help the dry? I know you, you just said you made uh, you brought in over three hundred thousand to the gala, but you know what? That's that's probably gone. <laughs> Well, I don't know, but it'll be applied to you know things that we do. So Children's Hospital, there's a huge program there. The foundation will donate technology for some of the activity rooms. They'll donate a bag of essentials. As soon as that you know, family, such as that military family, arrives in Cincinnati from somewhere else, they'll get a bag of essentials. It'll be cleaning products. It'll be things that the family can use to get it adjusted to life in, in the hospital and the treatment cycle. And then, of course, moving into their new residence once they get settled into Cincinnati. But a lot of times, they don't know how long they're going to be here. They don't know how long the treatment's going to last, and that's the unsure part on the family side. So we try to step in and make those transitions just so much smoother. So we'll benefit from a lot of different community events. People will have, like in Oxford, the other day, um, there's a sorority there that had a Chipotle night and donated some of the funds back to that. So that's some of the smaller things. We talked about the gala. As little as $50, if you could just donate $50 in July, we're going to plan to have families go to Kings Island for a day. We'll try to get as many as we can, but $50 for a person, so a family of four, $200. And just a, a donation at that level can really help make a great day for a family. Mm-hmm. You can help them out right now, too, ladies and gentlemen. You can take your smartphone out, and you can text the word WINGS15, that's W-I-N-G-S-1-5, to 71, no, what is it? I'm sorry. It's 71777. Yes, Wings 15 to 71777. A very secure website's going to open up, allowing you to donate anywhere from five, fifteen, fifty, five hundred, five thousand dollars, whatever makes you feel great. Now you got the Dragonfly Golf Classic, which is at the Heritage Club coming up, and I've got the winning team, by the way. Just want to let you know that. That's good. Well, that's fine. Somebody's got to win, so it can be you. That's fine. that's great. But, yeah, that'll be May the 13th. And, again, you mentioned the Heritage Club, a beautiful club out in Mason, Ohio. Um, went and saw that site the other day, and it's just gorgeous. It'll it'll be a fantastic event. So some sponsorships available. It's a little $250 for a whole sponsorship, and then your foursomes and some others available there. And then June 15th is the second annual ride for Dragonfly. That's our motorcycle ride. That'll start at Queen City, Harley, and Fairfield, go through Houston Woods, and then return for a little after party, and that'll be a great day as well. So a couple of events that you can help out and have some fun with and support the foundation as well. And all those events are posted on your beautiful website at dragonfly.org uh, there's also in there there's things in there about us and uh, how you can give and the events that are going on some heartwarming stories it's just a fantastic very uh, um, it's a great website I just I find it interesting every time I go to it so that's dragonfly.org go there or if you don't want to do that just pick up your smartphone and text the word WINGS15 to 71777. And all that money goes to Dragonfly Foundation. Another neat thing about Dragonfly is 86% of every dollar that's donated goes to the families. Right, Michael? That's correct. So in the money that we'll donate, we have partnerships in Dayton. We also have some partnerships in Chicago. But the money that you donate in Cincinnati or Dayton goes directly to that community. And that's the other great part all about right. the way we're organized. We're just about out of time today. Thanks for a great show, and I'd like to, again, thank Kat and Michael at uh, NRL Mortgage, 513-592-3830. If you missed any of the shows, you can listen to them on my podcast at rockandcincy.com. Uh, next week, I have members of the Realtors with Heart Committee at the Cincinnati Area Board of Realtors. Oh, that's going to be a fantastic show. I can't wait for that. we got some great stories. Coming up next is Dane Donovan and the Car Tech Show. If your car is making funny noises or not making any, stay tuned with them, and he will fix it on the radio. For spring, let's kick things off today with a song by Chicago. No, this is actually Blue Sun Ivory's live version of Chicago's hit, Make Me Smile. Children play in the park. They don't know 
Gary Rosignol at 513-777-2402 for your real estate needs. I want to help you. Here's a big thank you to my regular major sponsors who make this show possible as well as Remax Preferred Group. A special thanks to WDJO station manager Gary 